There was never such a hot spell. On the reservation, the Apaches settled down. They knew this heat. They had lived with it. But a few miles away in Tucson, there was a quiet, uneasy, tense feeling of wanting something to happen. Anything to get your mind off the weather. The heat hung in the streets, invaded the bars and the minds of the people. Violence could erupt from the most casual incident. It was like waiting for a bomb to go off. But there was no telling who had the match to light the fuse. From miles around, high on the montaña, you can see my father's palacio. But one day the soldados ride out, hundreds of them, with knives on their guns. They pound on the door. It is opened by my father, who stands proudly. The soldados step back. They know my father is a friendly man, but a tiger went around. Ooh. Senor Tapas, el presidente de México has ordered your execution. <laughs> no, my father and the president are fine friends. It's the soldados. Hey, Jeffrey, listen to the yarn the kids spinning this time. <laughs> Senor Jeffrey, you got business for me? Yes, Ramon. Here, take those out to the outpost for me. Gracias, senor. I would ride like the wind. You see, Ramon is a special messenger for senor Jeffers. Papa! Here. But please, no troubles today. Oh, no, Ramoncito. I will buy your supper. And maybe a little vino. No mucho. Just to wash it down, it's too hot today, huh? Jefford, I've done you a turn or two. My boy liked that job. He's real reliable. I know he is. So is Ramon. There was no telling who had the match to light the fuse. Tacos. Harmless enough, but a tiger after a drink or two. Ramon, a small boy with a big imagination. Or even Sarah Weatherly, respected historian of Arizona. Or her brother, Ron. Whoa, whoa! That's enough. No, sir. Comes a time when a man can't stand anymore. Roger, get back in this carriage and... Roger, do this. Roger, do that. I've spent a lifetime of it, and I'm full up to here. Goodbye, Sarah. Something is wrong, Senorita Weatherly? Why do you ask, Ramon? I see Senor Weatherly. I, I think your buggy's broke. Yes, Rabbi. It sounds like one of the wheels. See, si. get inside the buggy with your sister, Senor. I will see what's wrong. Yes, Roger, do. Drive on, Senor. Get up. <laughs> Miss Wallily. Oh, you, Sheriff. You ever known such a scorcher? August 3rd, 1856. Established the record. You sure know your facts, Miss Weatherly. See, I ain't coming with that history book in Arizona. Splendid. Now, don't forget my name is Middleton. Uh, like getting a medal only with two Ds. Some folks call me Sheriff Middleton. Roger will be careful. He's most cooperative, aren't you, Roger, dear? Good old Roger. <laughs> Off a whip. Oh, the wind's hotter than the sun. Senor! Yeah, what's the matter? Hey, senor, can you tell me where my father went? Oh, sorry, boy. The tiger left his native habitat. Uh, he uh, went that way. Gracias, senor. <laughs> oh, senor Jeffers! Senor Jeffers! What is it, Ramon? With my own eyes, senor. I see the most terrible thing. Was 
Oh, she's leaving the Apaches on a scouting party? Not you. <laughs> I saw a monster or a dragon. I don't know which. i never seen one before. Was it breathing out fire? <laughs> I smell something terrible. My motor is smarter than me. He will not go where I want. I am pulling my gate, but I look around, Senor Jeffers, and there is the monster this close to me. <laughs> what is it this time, Ramon? I saw it. I'll show you. Hey, that's starting to look like the beast I saw in the liquor bottle. You mean the dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and this is Ramon. Stoopy. Yep, the kid saw a dinosaur, all right. Hey, grab your young ones and run for the hill. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, break it up. You've all had your fun. <laughs> 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 Did you ever see a dinosaur, Senor Jeffers? No, Ramon. And neither has anybody else. Come on now. Run along home. I'll see you tomorrow. Whatever you say, Senor. You are my boss. Hasta mañana. Juanita, I'll ask the Senorita. She will know. It was the third day of June, 1846, when the Apaches rose to attack like a monstrous wave of paint horses and painted faces. An evil surf from the hills washing down on the clean floor of the settlers below. And as the tide returns to the... I've talked myself hoarse and you haven't written a word. I've been thinking, Sarah. I do the thinking. No, Sarah. I finally found a way to be free of you. What? Listen, Sarah, let me talk in metaphors like you write. This book is the cruel rope which binds me to a dead tree. Roger! Oh, listen, Sarah, this is quite good. These pages are the bars which shape my captivity. Roger, give me my mother! Yes, thank you, Mr. Jeffords. You shouldn't be driving the buggy. Where's Roger? My brother is... is dead, Charles Madelkin. Dead? What happened? If you feel like talking... Yes, yes, I must. Roger and I were working on the book. 
going along splendidly. Then I heard a crash. Turned and saw that the window was broken. Sheriff, I saw the gun. And I saw the flash when the trigger was pulled. You mean Roger was murdered? Did you see the man? Yes. It, it looked like tacos. Tacos? I think so. I went to the window and saw him running away. I'm positive it was tacos. That's why I came for you, Sheriff. Don't worry, Miss Weatherly. I'll find him. You better drive her back home, Tom. All right. And the boy, too. Little Roger was standing by the fireplace. I was over near the desk. I had no idea how long Tacos had been at the window. Or why he would want to murder my brother. I heard the window break. Turned to see the gun and the trigger being pulled. Is this your gun, Miss Whitley? Yes. Well, it, it was Roger's. He must have left it out in the shed. Here's your chair, Miss Weatherly. Thank you. Miserable drunk. I have a mind to string you up right here and now. Let go of him, Sam. Let go of him. Sheriff. Listen, he's my prisoner, Sam. There'll be no more talk of a lynching. Miss Farrell will want justice done right. Tell me what happened, Tacos. You mean the killing, senor? I do not remember. Did you have a lot to drink? Si, mucho. With the money you pay, my Ramoncito. Why did you come here? I think so to borrow a chicken for Ramon's supper. But Tacos does not even want to kill one chicken. All right, Jeffords. You've heard Tacos say Vino makes him a tiger? Si, I say that. Senor, did I kill the man? today, Ramon. Bueno, I must go and find my papa. He did not come home last night. Let's sit down, son. Now you're going to have to be a real man. A brave, senor. Tacos is going to need all of your love. But he has all my love. Look for me. Out today, Ramon. Bueno, I must go and find my papa. He did not come home last night. Let's sit down, son. You're going to have to be a real man. A brave, senor. Tacos is going to need all of your love. But he has all my love. Your father's in a lot of trouble. It wasn't really his fault. It was Avino. But he killed a man. Tacos? Kill? That is impossible. No, Ramon. He killed Roger Weatherly. You mean the senorita's brother? Si, sí, senor. I know Papa did not kill. It was the senorita who killed her brother. I go to ask about dinosaurs. I look in the window. I see the senorita's brother make a fire in the fireplace. Ramon, with all of this heat. See, si, he must be crazy. Then I see the senorita with a big gun. She holds it like this. Bang! So now you know Papa did not kill. Ramon, it won't do any good to lie now. It never does. It is not a 
realize. If you had seen something like this, you would have told somebody immediately, now, wouldn't you? But, senor, even you did not believe me about the dinosaur. Can I see you a minute, Tom? I need your help. Sam Hardwick's boiling up the town about tacos. He's got everybody believing that Roger was the greatest man that ever lived. I'll be right with you. in Mexico, and how we are going to go there someday. Si, sí, Papa. I will tell you. And how much girl are we going to have in the rancho? Look, Papa, and you can see there are many like puppies in a field. So many you can never count them as long as you leave. There's a jailbreak, Tom. Maybe you better handle it. Here you say you see a strange monster. Are we going to have three or four of these in the rancho too? Oh no, Papa. The rancho and the palacio, I see up here. But the dinosaur, it is real. I am telling the truth. Oh, uh, you have business for me, Senor Jeffers? <laughs> no, Ramon. Suppose you tell me more about your dinosaur. Si, sí, senor. Así, senor, así. Hmm? Maybe the legs were a little longer, like this. That is a dinosaur I saw, but you draw much better than I do, senor. <laughs> That's a camel, Ramon. Some years ago, the cavalry imported a small herd of them. Oh, but a camel alive in Arizona now, that's almost as unlikely as a dinosaur. But you have seen one before, senor. Mm -hmm. So you have to believe that the senorita killed her brother, like I said. Come, we will set my papa free. No, Ramon. You'll have to tell your story at the trial. Está bien. But, senor, the people will laugh at Ramon. I could hear them now. If I can find the camel you saw, maybe they'll believe your story of the murder. I spent the better part of a day searching where Ramon claimed he saw the camel. The Arizona desert was big and hot and empty. There really was a camel. Who would know better than Cochise? Well, at first, the boy claimed that he saw a monster that lived a thousand years ago. But I drew a picture of a camel, and he said that's what he saw. The animal with small mountains on its back. Do you believe the story of a sister who killed her brother? We know that words are pebbles that roll on a boy's tongue. Yes, I believe him, Cochise. Now, if I can find that camel, maybe the jury will believe his story of the murder. I'm sorry, my brother. But the Apaches have not seen one of these animals in many years. <laughs> Oh, 
Veló. May I speak to you, senorita? Certainly. No matter what happens, Raymond, you and I will be friends. Si, senorita. I was going to ask somebody to have you stop by. I am here now, senorita. I'm terrible sorry about what happened. Your brother must say or do something awful to you. You're a fine woman. My papa says so, too. That's why I am here. Tacos would not kill. And neither would you, senorita, without a very good reason. What are you saying? Senorita, I saw you kill your brother. You, you saw him? See, I was looking in the window. I came to ask about dinosaurs. Your brother was here, senorita, and you were over there with a the gun. I could see how mad you were. You must have had a good reason, or you would not have done what you did. because of his father. Imagine, Mr. Jefferson. He says I killed my own brother. Certainly. The boy broke into my home with this vicious lie. Wouldn't you get a gun, Sheriff? I reckon so, Miss Weatherly. Judge? But I am not fine. Oh, you can't go by what the boy says, Judge. The whole town knows he's a liar. Judge Willis, I believe the boy's story. Tom, you like the kid, but stop shooting at the moon, will you? He has a right to speak. I'm against it. Judge, but if I can prove the boy isn't a liar. How, Mr. Jeffers? Will you bring a dinosaur into court? A dinosaur? The boy says he saw one. He saw a camel. Oh, yeah? Oh, I remember seeing camels around here. Impossible. But there used to be camels around here, Miss Webb. Granted, there used to be. It was a ridiculous idea hatched in Washington in 1856. Camels are such repulsive beasts, they caused the cattle and the horses to stampede. So they were destroyed, every last one of them. You may take my word for it. You know, Miss Weatherly's a historian, Judge. Camels. That's as ridiculous as seeing a dinosaur or my murdering my brother. kid's camel. The one camel escaped. I was mistaken. What are you thinking, Sheriff? That I'm the liar? Now, hold on, Miss Weatherly. I'm not saying you murdered your brother, not by a long shot. Thank you, Sheriff. You all know how devoted Roger and I were to each other, how we've dedicated our lives to writing the history of Arizona. I'd like to read that book, Miss Weatherly. Certainly. Ramon claims he saw something else. He says he saw Roger Weatherly lighting a fire in the fireplace. A fire? In this heat? Oh, Tom. Not wood. Just a lot of papers. It might have been Miss Weatherly's manuscript. Why don't you bring it in, Miss Weatherly? Prove the boy's a liar. you too had belief, Cochise. Those camels. Sometimes, my brother, you cause me great trouble. Rain again. 
Coleman. Yeah, the drinks are on me, Jeffords. Come on in. Maybe some other time. Thank <laughs> you.